On November 22, 2022, Heidi Matheny walked into the Eaton Police Department and made a shocking confession. In part one, Heidi spoke to a police officer and the interaction was captured on body cam. In part two, Heidi sits down with detectives and lays out what happened in the apartment that night. Interrogation Files presents The Disturbing Confession of Heidi Matheny, Part 2. Perfect. Just call me when you're ready. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. You got to switch All right. You remember me. I was the one that swapped her hands, right? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you uh, while being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before questioning at, at if you wish, at the cost. Do you, if you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand what I just told you? I understand. Okay. But we already covered that before. I just want to make sure. All right. So. <clears throat> I know you already talked to Sergeant Eversole, okay, but if you would, just walk me through your day. Okay, what time did you get up today? Seven. Seven a.m.? Okay, and what did you do today? I was just kind of hung out in my room. I went to the grocery this morning. Mm -hmm. um, I got bacon and eggs and a pie and some ice cream and some milk for my grandma. Mm -hmm. And I took it over Alice, there. Right? Okay. I took it over there. Uh, about what time? Maybe seven thirty. Seven thirty in the morning. Okay. Um, she was asleep, so I left and went back home. I just. And that's over the what three ten West Spring Street, right? Right. Okay. And you walk, right? You don't drive. I do drive. You do drive. Okay. So did you drive or walk today? Um, this morning I drove. Okay. I just was in my room the rest of the day. Okay. And then, so, how did you happen to go back over to uh, your grandmother's, Alice Matheny's apartment today? Uh, she had called me, and I... About what time was that? I don't know, maybe three-ish. I ignored the call. Oh, why would you ignore a call? Last night, I had a um, mental health evaluation with Social Security. Where was that at? Over the phone. Over the phone? I can tell that. Uh huh. And the last question they asked me on that exam was if you saw a two year old at the end of a pier all by himself, what would you do? And I just, I don't know. Like, I, and so she reiterated the question and said, well, what could happen? And I said, well, I guess that two year old could drown, so I'd have to pick it up. I just thought about that all mm -hmm. night, all day. Yeah. Okay. So, what time did you get to uh, Grandma Alice's house today, or apartment rather? Um, I don't know what time it was. Whatever time this happened, like, I as soon as I got there, uh, Paisley was there. Was Paisley already inside the apartment? No, okay. she wasn't there. Um. I made some ice cream. 12, 11, 12, 13. Because she wanted to have some ice cream. She said, Well, I noticed that you showed up this morning and you had my refrigerator. It was also like snacks. You want to eat some snacks? Mm -hmm. So we sat down and we ate some snacks. And then. What, how was that conversation? Was, was she was she crabbing at you? No, or was she, she just, was had, it was, had a good it was, day. Yeah. It was a good day. Okay. Yesterday we went to the. Uh, the doctor, and she's like, we went out to eat after, and she doesn't mm -hmm. get out much, so she she just, she thanks me, and she's like, this is the best day that I've mm -hmm. had in so long. Okay. I don't know, after we ate ice cream, she went up to do dishes, mm -hmm. she offered to do the dishes, she usually does if I cook. You're at the sink, right? Yeah, okay. and I just lost my shit. Okay, now let me ask you, what? I'll give you a moment. Okay. We got I tissues. I had this and that was a few DMs. Okay. I didn't find any others. I'm sorry. It's nothing that she did. She's okay. not. A, like, she's a perfect freaking grandma. Uh huh. Okay. 
And so she wasn't nagging at you or anything. She just had her back to you doing the dishes, correct? Yeah. Okay. And where were you standing at? Right next to her. Right next to her, to the right or to the left of her? <coughs> I think it was to her left. Okay. And so, how full was the sink? Do you it remember? was full. Full? I filled it up the rest of the way. Okay. So you put more water in it? Yeah. Okay. And so why did you put more water in it? Because I thought, well, I was doing it, the thing moved, and then and I so saw that there was no water, and so then, like, I just fed up building up. Okay, I got you. So how do you how do you have her? Do you have her? By the hair. By the hair. And then I okay. picked her up, and I put her on the counter, and I okay. put her out of the water. So let's back up real quick, okay? Let's try to ma maintain our composure, okay? Because I want to get the absolute correct story from you, okay? So, you're to the left of her, and then how did the idea just come into your head? Do you remember? I just... Okay. And so, you grabbed her by the hair, and then you pushed her head under the water, and the water started running out, and so you you physically started putting more water in there, correct? Mm -hmm. And what kind of struggle? Was she struggling? She was struggling. Okay. She's strong. Did you strike her or anything like that? You didn't? No? You just was able to overpower her and hold her under the water? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you held her under the water until I'm gonna tell when. Um, How long did you hold her head under the water? Maybe five, ten minutes. Five or ten minutes at the sink. It was a while. At the sink. Okay. Where did you <laughs> notice if any bubbles were still coming out or? That's anything? why I tried. Like I just. And so. So then after that, you took her and you, did you drag her to the couch or did you pick I her up? I picked her up and I and laid her on the couch. couch. Okay. And then, and then what? Um, she started like bubbling. Okay. Was it she was breathing again at that point? I or? think so. Yeah. Um, sorry about that. So okay, so we were talking about uh, she's on the couch, and then you thought that she was still breathing, right? Mm -hmm. And so, what was your what was going through your head at that that point? Was I mean, that was maybe we could stop this. No, no, I wanted her to be at rest. Okay, so it was your intention at that point, while she was laying on the couch, and you thought that she possibly could still be alive, to go ahead and continue doing yeah. what she was doing. Okay, all right. Did she make any movement or anything like that? Just bubbles out of her mouth and nose. Okay, was it water coming out or was it air? Do you, you don't remember? Okay. Um, so was she raising her hands any or anything like that? She was just laying still? Okay. And so after that, so she's still on the couch, right? And then you go into the, you, you, do you get the idea to the bathtub? Okay. I don't want to lead you on this. I just, I, this is what I've been told. Okay? I feel like I got led on last night with my little interview. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know what's going on with that, but. So, Paranoia. Okay. Well, let's just stay on this, okay? So you go into the bathroom and tell me what happened in the bathroom. You're in the uh, bathroom. I filled up the water. Okay. I drug her at that point, and How I. How much water did you put in? Oh, uh, I filled it, I think. Okay. I unclosed her. I don't know why I took her clothes off, put her in the bathtub. Uh -huh. I took her clothes off and I put her in the bathtub. Okay. And I just held her there. Was she strobe on at that time? And no, she was no. not conscious. Okay. And so you stated that you held her under the water for what, 15 minutes or so? 15 minutes. Okay. And what hand did you hold her under with? Both. Both both hands? Alright. And so were you, well, it's were you just holding her up? Okay. So, I had to like so you pushed her all the way down or just kind of held her hand, just head under the water? And held her chest. Uh huh. Okay, so when you had her under the water, was she face down or was she face up? She was face up. Face and up. And then I rolled her over. Okay. I got you. So as you were holding her in the water, you were holding her down by her chest, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, you didn't, was there any struggle under the water at that point? Mm-mm. Okay. I know that she did have some, like, scratches, but that's probably from getting her into the bathtub. Okay. Just that metal rock rack. Okay. And then, and then you said you rolled her face down while she's in the tub? Mm -hmm. Okay. And why did you do that? Because I left. I mean, why did you roll her over though? 
Because she kept floating back to the top. Okay. Why was the window open? Because that's where I went last. Out why, the window. Why did you leave out the window? Because I didn't want anybody to see me leave. Because I wanted to come straight here. Did you have any intention of this, uh, to do this before you went over? Not, no. Like, no. Like, I, like... Because I was told by um, a family member that on Sunday that you had told Alice that this will be the last meal that we all have together. And more than I one person. Say that. I did make a big meal for everybody. Yeah. And you never said that this is going to be the last meal that we have together? Mm -hmm. Okay. But I did make a meal and I fed it to everybody. Okay. Um, so did you have intention to do this ever before you went over there? I, 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 I will admit that like we, me and her have discussed this. Like so she's, she's like come to, like come to me and it was a point of hysteria. Uh -huh. So like I, I dismissed it and I kept dismissing it. She, like she would be crying, having panic attacks, and she'd just kill me. And like it's like you know, we so we like I I don't know we all say that, but like, but like we had like we had had that emotional distress conversation. I mean I know I'm a fucking nut, but like she she gets upset too. Like it's it's right. stressful. And, well I understand. And it's I felt like she was. A, and uh, this thought crossed my mind too. One day I was walking down the street and there's this dog, and it's a white old dog, and it reminds me of her hair. Mm -hmm. And I lived in Tucson at the time, and it was bobbing in and out of traffic on a five lane like freeway. I'm sitting there at the bus stop, mm -hmm. so I run across the street and I pick up this dog, and it's biting at me and snapping at me because it's scared to death. I take it home with me, and it's like it's got diarrhea, it's dehydrated, it's sick, it's in been stranded in Tucson, there's no humidity. So I take this dog to the vet and the vet said that that dog was just really old and it probably left its home to go die. Like that's probably what it did. So that's what I was thinking too. It's like she's just So were you thinking that before you went over there? That no. you needed to do this? No, no. Okay, before I went over. Okay. Like I said, we were just gonna sit down and eat ice cream and then it just BAM popped in your head. Just like in. Uh, Had you ever thought about doing this particular thing to her prior to this? I mean, had you I've ever never heard, thought about never doing thought it about to her. No. Okay. But now that I'm laying in there thinking about it, I'm thinking of all the little situations mm -hmm. that led me up to this, and I just don't want to be here anymore. What do you mean by the situation? Like the dog. the dog, and then last night's interview, like I just thought about that, mm -hmm. and like all the little things, like. And who did you say that was with Social Security? Yeah. That was the last question they asked me. That's an odd question. Uh, Heidi, you, you're not one of So now, let me ask you this, okay? I'll give you a couple minutes there, okay? Is there anything else that you think I need to know about what that situation happened? I don't think so. Okay. Do you, have you been aggravated with her? I'm not aggravated with her. I'm aggravated at the situation. She's got her son living next door, mm -hmm. and the what freaking his, <laughs> what's his name? And then there's little Paisley. She's the maddest little brat. That's filthy. And it's like she goes in and out of the house, and she sits with my grandma as a princess. She was raised as a pretty, pretty princess. She, her whole life, she's been well taken care of, wealthy, all those things, yeah. and she's got all this trash that all of a sudden shows up and moves in next door and comes walking in out of her house, sitting all over shit, and it drives her up the wall, and she can't protect herself, she can't tell her to leave, she can't do anything, and it drives her crazy, and it drives me nuts because I just want to, like, kick everybody out, but as soon as I leave, they're all right back in, 
and, the, and like the look on his face, he's so proud to do that to her. And it's fucking psychotic. And do you live with anybody? I live with my mo- her other son and my mom on um, Spring Street, okay. and that's her house. And that like Who's your mom? they've overrun her. What's your mom's name? It's just, I feel like I'm in hell. <laughs> what is your, what's her other son's name, your father's name? And then the house on Spring Street is your grandmother's house. It's my grandma's house. So how, how did they come about living in it? It's, it's, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's okay, I'm just curious. It wasn't lived in for a while, right, because there's some dogs. Right. There's still dogs everywhere. Yeah. They have yeah. just destroyed the place. Yeah, that's what's up. And again, it's just to rub my grandma's face in it. And like I said, she's just been, she's 198 pounds she weighed yesterday. So let me ask you this. Um, after you was walking out of the bathroom, what was, what was your realization when you walked out of the bathroom? Yes, she said, at peace, that she doesn't have to deal with this shit anymore. When you say she's at peace, did you have the realization that she... I hope so. I hope so. And I hate that I feel that way. Like, I hate that I feel that way. Well, I understand understand that. I'm trying not to get you upset, but when I ask the question that, when you say that uh, you knew that she was at peace, did you... You you understood that she was no longer alive, is that correct? I hope so. You hoped so, okay. And that was your intention, was to take her life. Okay. All right. And that was why you took her into the bathroom after she was on, because you didn't want to leave her alive on the couch, correct? Correct. Is there anything else that we need to know? I don't think so. Okay. Do you you have... I don't think so. I don't know. I feel like I'm trapped in a video game or a movie or whatever the fuck. I can't make this shit up. No, no. That's understandable. Um, So what we'll do, we'll take it back over. (laughs) <laughs> and uh, we'll have her come. Are you calling her? Yes, yeah, Okay. We'll have him come get you, and then we'll, we're going to put you on the watch for a little bit, okay? Just make sure you're safe. Try to maybe get a counselor in for you tomorrow, okay? Do you have a regular counselor? Hey, uh, you can pretty much regular. I had a pretty doctor yesterday. If you saw a two year old at the end of a pier, that was the social security. Program. That's the oddest question I think I've ever had. And then I got President Trump in my ear saying the China disease, and she's like Asian. <laughs> I feel like I've lost it. <laughs> and I'm not racist. I've lost it. <laughs> but just so we're clear, uh, Heidi. Before you went to your grandmother's house, you had no intentions of harming her? I mean, you've thought about it before. Yeah, we've even talked about it before. We've talked about it before, but you, even after, you know, you talked to the lady about the baby on the pier, that didn't give you the thought to, to do that when you went to your grandmother's house? Not intentionally, no, and I just kept thinking about that question, and I kept thinking about that question. Why would she ask me to have... And then I thought, I had a daughter, my oldest daughter, and one time me and a friend were sitting probably this far apart with a pool between us, and my daughter was about two, and we were just talking, and like, she was right here, and I was here, and I looked over, and uh, she had her uh, butt had lifted up, and like, she couldn't reach, and this is like a foot of of water, and I was like, what the hell? how easy 
that could have happened. So that's what I was thinking of when she asked me that question was what the heck? How easy it is for a two year old to drown in a foot of water. Well, Heidi, we thank you for your time. Um, we're going to talk with Christy for a second. Okay, there. So what do I do with these? You just think back over just. Heidi Matheny pled guilty to murdering her 93-year-old grandmother, Alice J. Matheny, and was sentenced to life in prison.